Welcome back. Okay, so now we've got the second part to this example, and it's asking us to show that this is another vector equation of the same plane. So in other words, it wants to know that this equation and this equation actually represent the same plane. Probably the easiest way to do this at the moment is to try to make comparisons to the uh, scalar equation. However, tomorrow we'll spend a lot of time talking about how to compare two um, equations. So th we'll definitely talk more about this tomorrow. First thing I'm going to do is take a look at the normals. So the normal for this one is going to be given by 5, 3, 2, cross 2, 4, 5. Now obviously if they're going to represent, this is a direction vector, right? And this is a direction vector. Please understand which are direction vectors and which is a point. This is a point. So this is D1 and this is D2. So I'm going to take the cross. Now, if they're going to represent the same plane, they've got to have the same normal. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. So doing a little bit of work here. Notice I don't put an equal sign there. 5, 3, 2, 5, 3, 2. Notice this one goes first. 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 5. Goodbye, goodbye. Down products. Now, this gets a little bit trickier. Keep your wits about you. 15, subtract 8. So that's 7. 4, subtract 25. 4, subtract 25, negative 21. 20, subtract 6. 20, subtract 6, 14. You make a mistake in there, you're toast. Um, you know, if you can't add or subtract properly or the negatives get away from you, everything else will fall apart. Um, so if you need to put in more steps, please do, but get it right. You have to get this right. All right, now look at that normal. That's a pretty normal, but what I am going to say is it can be reduced. And I can divide everything by 7 to get 1, negative 3, 2, which looking up, notice the normals are identical. So therefore, normal 1 equals a scalar multiple of normal 2. That scalar multiple could be 1. They could be identical. But what I'm saying is that they have the same normals. So I guess the next thing I could do is either check that they have the same D. So I could take this normal, plug it into the equation, and show that they have the same D value, in which case those would be the same plane. Or I could prove that the point on this plane also lied on that plane, or the point on this plane also lies on that plane. So I could put this into parametrics, take this point, and plug it in. That's a lot of work. I have to admit. I could take this point, plug it into x, y, and z, and see if left-hand side equals right-hand side. Because if this point satisfies this equation, then it lies on this plane. That's pretty easy. I like that. That would be negative 1 plus 6 plus 2. So it was negative 1 plus 6 is negative 5. What was this one? Negative, okay, let's do that again. I can't do things in my head. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5, plus 2 is 7, subtract 7 is 0. Guess what? That point satisfies this equation. It lies on that line. That's probably the easiest. See if point negative 1, negative 2, 1 lies on scalar equation of plane. So it's going to be negative 1, uh, negative 2, uh, plus 2, negative 7 equals 0. So we get negative 1, plus 6, plus 2, minus 7. Last time I checked, that works. So therefore, point lies on both planes. and both have scalar multiples that says multiples I can hear Olivia yelling at me already multiples normals therefore must represent the same
Now again, didn't have to do it this way. I could have continued. I could have taken this A, B, and C, plugged it in, taken that point, plugged it in, got a D value, and lo and behold, I would have got this here, I would have got that there, and I would have gone, hmm, yeah, they're the same. And that would have been the end of it. Different ways to do these things. That's what I like about it. Okay, let's pause and see what's coming next.